When it comes to rain harvesting, there are two operative words we use when determining more measurable goals, and that's quantity and quality. How you plan to use your rainwater and how much you need for that use are the cornerstones in your decision making when you're building an effective rainwater harvesting system. Since you're collecting rainwater, it is imperative to understand the seasonality of your local area and how much rainfall fluctuates throughout the year. Average rainfall data is available through your local council or your Bureau of Meteorology. With this information, you'll be able to anticipate your water position to make sure you don't get caught without. And from here, you need to establish how much water you can actually collect. So this is dependent on the size of your roof and how it's going to be directed to your tank. As a general rule of thumb, for every one millimetre of rainfall, you'll collect one litre of water per square metre of collection area. So for example, if it rained 100 millimetres in a month, and if you've got a 130 square metre roof, you could end up collecting about 13,000 litres in that month. Next, you'll need to assess if this is enough for your needs based on your water usage. If not, then we need to increase the collection area to make up for the shortfall. If you're unsure, you can use our mass balance tool and that can help you in your calculation. Your ability to capture water is also contingent on your capacity to store it. And we're gonna run through that in a bit more detail on step two. So generally, being specific is terrific. The clearer you are on your intended use for your rainwater, the more efficient your rainwater harvesting system can be. So understanding what you're gonna use the water for is gonna help you inform you of the quality and the quality requirements that you need. To determine how much you need, simply check your recent water bill to see how much you use. Alternatively, you can get a snapshot of your water usage by using that mass balance tool that we've got online. The tool assesses your water applications to see how much water you might use. It addresses location, seasonality, so that you can understand what your water balance is going to be throughout the year to make sure that you don't get caught short. If you're using rainwater for irrigation and other outdoor purposes, then you're only going to need to do the minimum amount to bring it up to a sort of really basic quality. So really just looking at filtering out larger debris to make sure that your pumps are protected and the irrigation equipment can function smoothly without the risk of any blockages. If you're using it for internal appliances, such as washing machines or toilets, then you want a slightly better quality, mainly to reduce the colour and the odour of the water. If you're planning on using the rainwater for all purposes, especially drinking, the system will need to be designed to help you achieve the highest quality and the best tasting water by eliminating any remaining sediment before use. When planning your system, it's important to begin with the end goal in mind. By understanding your environment, you'll be able to understand what's feasible for your property. From there, you can purposefully build the system around your usage requirements to maximise the quantity and the quality of water that's available for you at any time. And that's peace of mind.